Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for September 30th to October 13th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate your support to my channel as well as all my members. Thank you so much. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. We're going to talk about the overall love and then advice, and then we're going to move on to our singles. So stick with me to the end. Let's jump right in. So what's going on with my Leo's romantic love life for September 30th to October 13th? What's going on my Leo's romantic love life for September 30th to October 13th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. And this is going to be our clarifier. It's going to have my Leo's romantic love life for September 30th to October 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. And of course, <laughs> we got to do one more shuffle here. And one more. Oh my goodness, what is going on today with my cards? Okay. Okay, feels good. It has to, I just have to wait for that bright energy, like, all right, that's it. That's the, that's the shuffle. Then I know it's done. Okay. So in the current situation for you guys, justice. For some of you, there could be um, something to do with a decision. Coming to a truth, because justice can show some kind of justice, a just truth, something legal here, right? Marriage or divorce, right? With the current situation being justice. And timing being a factor here. So timing's at work here. And there's a sense of change. And it's almost like the, the time is running out. That's what I have a sense of. The time is running out because of this sense of wanting justice or having to make this decision, uh, possibly for some of you, marriage or divorce, okay? So what is the blockage here? There's this sense of uh, courage or strength here or a lack of courage or strength because a sense of, again, this is like justice card energy, making a decision. So someone's lacking the courage or strength to make a decision or because of the fact that there is a sense of unfairness here or uh, a sense of wanting to be fair here, okay? Three plus eight is uh, nine, 10, 11, a choice that needs to be made here, which is causing this blockage, this delay or challenge. At the foundation, oh my goodness, at the foundation, there's something that's a real shock here, a surprise, something that's unexpected here about the situation when it comes to a soulmate connection. So if someone has a shock of their life about a soulmate connection. Yeah. Wow. Let's, let's get a little bit more clarity on that tower card energy. What is this shock of their life, soulmate connection? What's this shock or surprise? What is this about, please? Show me the cards I need to see. I see something with the past. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There's this defensive energy here. Someone doesn't want to get hurt because they need to make a choice to a wands energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy wants to make a wise decision when it comes to passion, but there's this contemplation, what should I do on the long-term basis here? When it comes to marriage and long-term commitment for wands energy because of needing all the tools that you need to have all the tools that you need here. Um, all right. So in the past, there was this complete happiness with the Ten of Cups energy. And there was a sense that things were moving in your favor with the Fates card energy. A was putting the work or effort into a sense of completion. Wow, this is interesting at the foundation of the matter, the shock. At the head of the matter here, there's a person that wants to speak their truth about um, wanting to work together or gaining some kind of support here to gain some support. So at the head of the matter, either you or the other person wants to speak this truth and gain some kind of support about the situation because of the soulmate connection and speaking the truth because of the sense of timing is an issue here because of this, this big shock, this big surprise, this shock of uh, this, this soulmate connection. In the near future, King of Cups energy, wow romance and love and a sense of wow this is a really wise decision when it comes to love and romance it almost feels like something spiritual here with the higher power power card wow okay so 
For you guys, it's looked like uh, there's a sense of wanting to gain some kind of support here and a sense of luck being turning in your favor. Uh, fates is on your side because of a soulmate connection, a sense of spiritual connection here. There's this wanting to speak this truth because of this complete happiness of this surprise, this shock, this, this uh, big change here, this tower card energy because of this wisdom of this love, this romance. And almost for me, when I see this uh, King of Cups energy, it looks like a trophy cup, doesn't it? Yeah, I have a sense that there is definitely, someone has a sense that this is a victory. This is like a, a, a prize, okay? An accomplishment. That's what I have a sense of for is about stability and stableness. How does this person see this situation here? They see the situation like they wanna give you a message that you're ideal to them, that you have all the tools that they need here with the magician card energy. Six is healing, recovery, and love. How do they feel about you? They, they're, you're, they're, you're definitely on their mind there with the thinking card energy. They're thinking, contemplating, and analyzing this with the thinking card. This person just really seems to be stuck in their thoughts there. And you see there's a lot of stars all around it. So it's like, all right, is this my wish? Is this magical? It's almost like a magical kind of energy there. And they're trying to gain some kind of clarity about their feelings when it comes to you. So they're trying to gain that clarity and they're doing a lot of thinking about it because they're just like, they want to they wanna talk to you or speak with you with this message card energy. They're trying to gain clarity because they're like, wow, this is something ideal. This, is, this person has all the tools that I need here with the magician card energy. All right, let's see what the influence is here. So the influence is someone's trying to be flexible here because they're attracted to you. Queen of Wands energy, there's this sexy, uh, attractive energy here. There is, because the Queen of Wands is like the bouquet card energy, this, this surprise, this attraction, this social kind of card, this beauty, this sexy energy here. Appreciation. Yeah, so Queen of Wands is there, this sexy, attractive energy here, and this wanting to be flexible around this. Hmm. Okay, so before we go to the outcome here, I want to kind of look at the advice about the situation. Okay, so let me also throw these cards down because there are clarifiers. Okay. Wow, there is something of value here with the Treasure Islands. You definitely stumbled across something of value here with this Treasure Island here. But you're gonna have to make a decision here, all right? Because you're at a crossroads, you're gonna have to make a choice here. You can't be stuck in your head. You can't be at this crossroads. You have to make a choice here. You have to make a choice of, of this valuable, uh, how valuable the situation is to you with the treasure um, chest card. That's what I have a sense of. There's something of value. You have to make a choice towards what uh, the situation that you value. All right, but let's see. This potential value. What is this treasure chest card about? So let me get some more information, give me more clarity on that. I, it's a nine card energy, so it shows me wishes being fulfilled. So make a choice towards something that fulfills your wishes. Give me more information about this card, please. Put the work or effort into Marriage, long-term commitment, stability and stableness, organize and structure and things in a certain way and make a decision, justice. Just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, towards what your wishes and your hopes are, star card, energy, because your hands are tied in the situation. And we see the judgment card energy, something can roll in your favor, but you have to be honest about it with the seven of swords energy. Okay. So let's see here. So let's look at these cards first. It looks like you're gonna move past your challenges into calmer waters here, because it's like the Six of Swords energy here. And you're going to take a leap of faith. You're gonna take a risk here with the full card energy. And you're gonna have a sense that things are blessed for you. So you're gonna feel a sense of being blessed. King of Swords tells me you're gonna be very logical about things, okay? You're gonna use your head here, your intelligence here to make a wise decision and wise choice. This leap of faith, this risk here is a sense of joy and a sense of celebration with the Three of Cups energy, but what do I always say about that three card energy? Could be more than one choice or option there for you guys. And 
you will have a sense that your hands are tied or the person that you're dealing with will have a sense that their hands are tied in this situation. Okay, so let's get a clarity on that. There is a sense that you're being blessed, but on the same token, there's a sense, all right, my hands are tied, my back's against the wall. What is this Eight of Swords about? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Indecision. So obviously you guys need to make a choice here and a wise decision when it comes to love and romance because of this shock, because of this surprise, because of this uh, uh, situation where you have to have more than one choice or option. You have to pick someone and focus on happiness, 10 of cups energy, because um, something needs to be an equal give and take here with the temperance card energy when it comes to something to do with the past, six of cups energy, because of heartache, three of swords energy. All right, my beautiful Leos, let me know what's going on with you guys in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you. All right, so bear with me for a moment here while I clear this out of the way for our singles. All right, almost, almost done here. Bear with me. All right. All right, what's gonna happen with my Leo's romantic love life for their singles for September 30th to October 13th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right, so in the current situation, Leo, you are making some type of choice, or there's a sense of juggling, all right? Sense of multitasking here with the Two of Pentacles energy. And pentacles are serious things. They're, they're pertaining to long-term things. So there's a choice being made pertaining to long-term, or for some of you, there is some juggling going on. There's some multitasking going on there. The blockage is uh, someone's having a sense of being left out in the cold with a five of pentacles energy. So what's blocking you, what's crossing you is the sense of being left out in the cold or is the sense of loss about the situation because of a choice that needs to be made. At the foundation though, things are moving in your favor here with the Wheel of Fortune card. And in the past, there was a sense of wow, uh, Leo is a wise choice when it comes to passions because this is your energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There is this wise decision when it comes to passions. At the head of the matter, someone's like, all right, should I walk away from the situation? Eight of Cups energy. But I feel like this person's just sitting at the sidelines, just looking at their emotions there. You see that? They're just sitting there and they're kind of looking at their cups like, all right, what should I do here? Should I walk away? I feel like I'm, you know, just don't know what to do. So it just has a sense this person is just kind of sitting things out. In the near future, though, you got these romantic gestures happening here with this Knight of Cups energy. So let's go around here. So there's a sense of, all right, should I walk away from the situation physically or mentally? But there's a sense of being wise in your decision making when it comes to passions. And luck is on your side. Things are moving in your favor. And there's these romantic gestures here with the Knight of Cups energy. There's a person that's like being very romantic with you and they're making romantic gestures. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The influence is actually family and long-term commitment. So for some of you, you're being influenced with your romantic love life because of family and long-term commitment or because you're, you're more or less, you're focused on the long-term when it comes to family and long-term commitment, a sense of completion, a sense of accomplishment here. So before we move forward here to our outcome, oh my goodness, um, wow. Okay, let's get some advice, you guys. You'll see what I'm talking about by, oh my goodness, oh my God. When we get to your outcome here, it's very crazy. All right, um, I have some advice for my Leo Singles Romantic Love Life for September 30th to October 13th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what do we got here? All right, so focus on spending time with this person, connecting with this person, bringing harmony to the situation. Um, I also have a sense of going out on a date there with the connection card energy. And also focus on nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. And don't come at this from a distorted perspective here, okay? 
So you have to focus on the connection, uh, romance, uh, going out, bringing harmony to the situation, romantic letters, romantic gestures. I feel like that's what the connection card is saying. And a sense of focusing on self-love and taking care of yourself here and not coming at this from a distorted perspective here. Okay, let's also see what the Tarot says. All right move past this burden this responsibility let go of all this ten of wands energy don't let this weigh heavy on your mind with a ten of wands energy okay there needs to be a sense of completion here with the ten card energy to start anew all right so outcome so it looks like you're getting over some kind of hurt or pain or something is coming to a completion here this is a bit shocking here with the tower card energy. It's going to come as a surprise. It's going to it's going to be fast. It's going to be sooner than you think with the tower card energy, um, because of something that ends, stops, or completes here with the the coffin card energy or the death card energy or something to do with the Scorpio energy, because we see the King of uh, Knight of Cups energy here. So there's a sense of completion and something to do with like a big change, big upheaval, something of a surprise or shock. This could shock you because it's something that changes and stops or completes. All right, we're gonna clarify, don't worry. First of all, what is this tower card about? What's this shocking event about? What is this tower card about? What's this tower card about? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So the tower card is there because somebody's getting over something pertaining to hurt and pain because there's been waiting around for this to see how things are going to play out when it comes to Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy or making wise decisions when it comes to passion, when it comes to a choice and a, a focus on happiness here. Okay, so what's this death card about? What is this death card about? What's this death card about? What is this death card about? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. There is some things to do with the past, regret about the past, and a sense of confusion about everything, and a sense of a missed opportunity or things are being offered that you're not accepting. And there's some indecisions here with the Two of Swords energy because the person wants to be wiser in decision making when it comes to love and romance. Something ends to start anew with a death card energy, and it's like someone's fighting for their position. They want to defend this when it comes to an opportunity of true love here. Ace of Cups energy. Okay, for some of you, the reason why the family influence is here is because they're they're disagreeing uh, about this situation with this romantic gestures, and it's inter infringing upon your romantic love life for some of you. Okay, because we see family being the influence here. Um, for some of other ones, other uh, people here, it's like there's a sense of ending of this hurt or pain and something of a shock here because it's like you're like wanting to end something to start anew here. And, it, and it's because of this regret about what happened in the past and the sense of confusion and um, you just don't want what's being offered and there's some indecisions about if this is really a wise choice when it comes to love and romance. So you're kind of wanting to end things and defend your position when it comes to an opportunity of true love, Ace of Cups energy. Whew. Okay, my Leos, let me know what's going on with you guys in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you guys. Yes, I do want to hear what's going on. Okay, so let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you guys in another date or two. All right, guys, try to have a great rest of your next couple weeks. I love you guys.